Hey, what's up guys? This is Bala24, I'm bringing you another little Black Ops gameplay. And this time I'm playing Team Deathmatch on Grid. And, uh, right at the start of this level, I want to say there's probably about a 15 to 20 second gap where I just turn this corner and I lay down for a little bit. Well, I believe I was sending a text at that point, so, <laughs> sorry about that. I just, right here, I was sending a text to lay down, and then I got back up and got back into the action. So, the topic I wanted to discuss, wanted to ask you guys, I kind of wanted to raise the question of what kind of sniper are you? And I'll go into in depth, like, what I feel are the major, major types of snipers. In my opinion, I feel there's three categories, or three types of sniping, and then as well, or three styles of sniping, and then three types of snipers, if that makes sense. And I'll try to explain it, I'll try to tell you guys what I mean and then I'll go into it. So as far as the styles of sniping, um, I believe the three probably main styles of sniping that you'll see most often will be one, you'll have the camper in the back of the map hiding with ghost aim down sight the whole time and he'll just pick people off whenever he gets the opportunity but he really just hangs out in the back and doesn't do a whole lot. <laughs> um, the next one is a fairly tactical sniper where they still play fairly defensive but they're moving, they're patrolling an area and they're trying to lock down and secure an area that they know they can that they can control and that they make everybody maneuver around them because they're able to manipulate the way people move in order to best benefit them in order to feel in order to get the kill. And the third style of sniping that I see is uh, that of a rushing sniper, where they pretty much use the sniper like a submachine gun, where they're constantly rushing spawns, flipping spawns, and trying to get as many spawn kills as possible. And each one of those styles has its own advantages and disadvantages. I mean, obviously, the, the, the more defensive snipers, which would be the first two categories, would be probably die less but they at the same time they might not also get the same amount of kills and you know it's a trade-off it depends on how well you're able to work that style how well you're able to you know do it and the the third style which was the rushing sniper that would be a more aggressive one you probably get more kills but at the same time you probably die more and as far as the types of snipers the way that I see it is that the main types of snipers, there's quick scopers, there's trick shotters, and then there's everybody that really doesn't fit in that category. <laughs> um, quick scopers are pretty self-explanatory. They feel that every single shot they take, every single shot a sniper takes, should be a quick or quick scope, and they're usually the people that, on a game-winning kill cam or on something like that, they'll accuse you of hard scoping. They'll say that. Oh, you need to quick scope. There wasn't a quick scope, and they're usually fairly vocal, fairly uh, adamant that everything really does need to be a quick scope. And they feel like if you don't quick scope, then you're not a good sniper. And similar topics go for trick shotters. Although I won't say they're as vocal about how they shoot, but the trick shotters they go for clips they're the ones that do you know 360s try to get the fancy game winners the ladder shots all different kinds of things like that and it's a, the trick shotters and then there's guys that are really neither one of these those two categories and they're really on their own trying to figure out you know what's best for them and how they want to play and as far as me I'd have to say as far the the style of sniping that I have I am naturally a more defensive sniper I usually try to kind of hang back I let the enemy come to me because that way I am in control of the area that we're playing in the area that I'm confronting them in and so it gives me an advantage over them because I know where they're gonna come from and I know fair or relatively what to expect however with that being said I also tend to get impatient and that's when I rush spawns and I become the rushing sniper so I'm really a little bit of both between the defensive and the rushing sniper and uh, as far as the type of sniper whether I'm quick scoper, trick shotter, whatever it may be um, I don't really identify myself as any of those I mean 
I definitely, I'll be perfectly honest, I can't do trick shots. I, it's just not who I am. The only trick shot I'd be able to do would just be like a simple 360 or something like that. I am not a trick shotter by any means. But what I do feel like I do with the sniper is, I do whatever is necessary to get the kill with the sniper. And that kind of puts me in that outside category where it's not really anything. But anyways guys, I really ran out of time. This went by a whole lot faster than I thought it would. So thank you for watching, this is Bala24, and I'm out.